This is going to be an unboxing and quick review of the HP Prime. So here it is in its original packaging. As you can see, it comes in this lovely, impossible to open plastic wrapping material, which I'm really not looking forward to opening on camera. But um, it has some information on the box for those of you that care. Here's the info on the back in a ton of different languages. There it is in English. And we get a preview of inside the box. It's gonna be the calculator, a charging cord, the removal battery, um, an instruction manual, and a warranty. So that's it for the outside of the box. And now we're gonna see if I can get this thing open without cutting my fingers open. Okay, that went easier than it could have. So first off, um, first thing you see inside, once we remove some more plastic, is you have your instruction manuals, warranty, blah, blah, blah. And then you have, this is a micro USB cable. And then here, you have the charging cord, I believe. And that is pretty much it. Besides the main event. Okay, nice. You have an arrow here. That apparently you're supposed to pull. Nice. And there it is. There is the screen before I have smothered it in fingerprints. There's the back casing. This just slides right off. And then it looks like they want you to actually get into the battery pack to remove this piece of plastic. And okay, I don't know if you saw that, but that little tiny piece of the plastic was in between the um, connection from the battery to the actual calculator. So when you remove that, the battery will actually be connected to the calculator and you'll be able to turn it on. So there it goes. Okay, there's the initial welcome screen and it'll just scroll through the languages until you swipe. Um, number format is gonna be standard. Oh, and uh, now I get to put in the date and time. Okay, there's the date and time and I'm gonna leave all the other settings default and it's ready to go with not that much setup. So for the rest of this video, I'm mainly gonna be focusing on the physical aspects of this calculator. This is not gonna be a full features review and everything, but if you really wanna see a full review of this calculator, you can go to the link in the description or you can leave a comment below if you'd like me to make one in video form. So here it is. It's a lot more sleek than almost every other calculator that you can get, especially compared to the ones from Texas Instruments and Casio. The whole thing feels solid. Um, there's nothing that really wobbles on this calculator at all. Um, the entire thing is pretty much made of plastic, except for possibly this backing behind the buttons here. This could be aluminum, but everything else is plastic. That being said, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels very well made, especially compared to most of the other calculators that you can buy today. So the only ports on this thing are, well, there's only one. It's just this micro USB up at the top that you use to charge the calculator and connect it to a computer or any other device. And then here on the back, as you saw before, is the battery cover and the reset button. It sits flat on the table, it doesn't wobble at all, it's pretty hard to move, slide across the table because of those feet. All the buttons on this calculator are made of like a sort of hard rubber that um, feel pretty good when you press them. There's a satisfying clicking sound and they don't wobble around. One of the best features about this calculator is its screen. This is probably the best screen you're going to see on almost any calculator. 
if I get really up close here, you, you can kind of get an idea of the resolution that you're getting. It's of course nothing like a smartphone, but way better than most calculators. And then also, instead of having some sort of cursor and mouse setup, uh, you can also use the screen as a touch screen. It works just as good as you would expect it to. It's very responsive. There's barely any input lag. And also something I'll touch on really quick is that the graphing on this, the graphing speed on this calculator is extremely fast. And that combined with the touch screen really makes the graphing experience quite good. So I'm going to go ahead and graph this function. And there you go instantly. And you can s zoom in and out here. I'm just stretching it, but you can pan around and there's no lag time to where the calculator has to re-graph the line. It's just there, you can zoom in and out, just like you'd expect to be able to do on a smartphone or a computer or something. And it really works way better than almost any other calculator for graphing and inspecting functions like this. And then really quick, this is the main home calculation screen. You can just type in whatever you want and it will show up down here once you hit enter It'll give you your original expression and the evaluated expression over there on the right, and it'll just keep stacking them on top of each other. Here's a overview of some of the apps you get. Built-in is a function for 3D graphing, regular graphing, spreadsheets, data analysis, algebra solving, parametric equations, polar equations, sequences, a triangle solver, and that's all that comes preloaded. But you can write programs for this calculator and or download programs off of the internet. And lastly, here's the case that it comes with. It just slides over the top of the calculator like that and protects the screen and the buttons. And then also it can be slid on the back of the calculator when not in use. There will be more videos with the HP Prime coming out later. I'm gonna be comparing it to the TI Inspire CX2 CAS, and like I said, possibly doing a more in-depth review of the features on this calculator. Thanks for watching.